Well, here we are. Ever wonder what is inside the transmission filter after about 120,000 kilometers? And you know what? Are, what is this filter actually picking up? Considering that the transmission is a closed system. Recently did a uh, fluid and filter change on the 2007 Tahoe, and uh, this is a pan filter that came out of the transmission. It's a 4L60E transmission, and this filter, well, it should be an, an original GM because those are the last people who were in the transmission on this unit. And uh, that's what we have. So, I'm curious, and uh, I'm going to share this video just in case there are others out there who are curious. So. I'm going to figure out how to get in there. It's, it's a uh, thermoplastic that may, it may chip and cut and break off, break apart pretty easy with the, uh, with the knife there. If it doesn't, then we'll get out a small cutter tool of some kind, power tool. But we're going to start with that. So, um, what do you think? Try to take the flange off here. Or do I try to just cut the bottom off here. I think I'm just going to try to cut through right in this corner here, all the way around, and see what happens. So uh, I'm not going to bore you with uh, with those antics and cussing and whatever else comes with it. So perhaps even lopping a finger off. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll come back once I have it opened. Okay, well, I took the uh, took the knife to it in the bottom ridge here. It actually um, the plastic is it's a hard plastic, but it's a brittle plastic, and it's also quite thin. So once you manage to get a score mark in it, a score line, uh, it actually cracks very easily. Um, so that's that's something to keep in mind that. Uh, it will kind of treat these things daintily as you're installing them. Don't be uh, hammering on them or prying on them, the new one, because you might end up with a crack somewhere, particularly the snorkel. Any crack in that area there is going to cause uh, pump starvation and huge problems. So here we go. This is a uh, transmission filter out of the Tahoe. And the last service that I could find in the records was by GM at 130,000 kilometers ago. So I'm curious what's in there. Um, not so much for media, but what has it been picking up? And uh, because there's really, really not much that can go on inside a transmission, right? So anyway, let's. Uh, Let's open this up and see what we have. So I'm pulling up, prying it open in the hole, in the, the crack that I made. And I can see that the media is glued in there. Let's see, you know, I gotta, we need more light, don't we? Yeah, just hold on a second. I'll get a portable light. Okay, let's see if this little lamp is gonna give us some better lighting. All right, so let's have a look inside there. Actually, let's... Okay. Not seeing very much in the media, although I, I do see it glued around the inlet there. So maybe... It I'm just going to pry on this a little harder. Hold on. Camera going to stay like that. I say camera, but really it's my phone. Oh, just hold on. There we go. Okay. Click, click.
Yeah. So I just tore the pan off the bottom. And what do we have here? Well, that's interesting. So in the bottom of the pan, well, basically you've got, you've got the in, intake there. And you've got the bot this bottom of the pan with all these weirs in it. Then the media. It looks like there's two layers of media. And then goes out the top. But it, so let's look at the bottom of the pan here first. Not seeing much in there other than what's what is in these the ledge of the grooves here? I'm seeing some dust, accumulation of dust or glue or RTV or whatever that is. Let me grab a pick here. Flakes of RTV in here? No. That's not RTV, that's dirt, mud. Fine silt and mud. So there is some settlement. There is some settlement in the pan in the corners. Actually, that's metallic mud, you know, the same type of stuff that shows up on the magnet? That's what that is. What I'm really interested in is these grooves here. What is this? It just looks like it's some sort of flashing. But yeah, we've got metallic, metallic dust. That's what's in the pan, bottom of the pan. Okay, we got it open, and uh, the way this is constructed, it's as a uh, single piece of fabric that's been folded over. Okay, it's been folded, and then it's been clamped or pressed, formed into the ridge all the way around the ridge of this filter, except at this end, which is the pump intake okay and what you see at this end is the uh, fold seam now the inlet to the filter is the inlet in this bottom pan and the filter media is glued to the pan so when the oil goes in it, it actually has to go up in between the two layers and then find its way to the pump. Okay, so if we open this up, open up this fold now, we should be able to see what this filter has been collecting over the number of years and the roughly 130,000 kilometers of runtime. Wow, that's kind of cool. Just move this out of the way. I'm gonna take this right out of right out of that right out of there. Lay it on the table. So because the fluid has to flow up in between the layers and then uh, go between the layers to get to the pump most of the material that it is filtering out will be captured in between the two pieces. And what do I see on this filter media? Let's see, we'll zoom in. Okay, and I'm just using a, an iPhone, so hopefully Shows up for you. I'm seeing a little bit of sand, a little bit of se sediment. I'm seeing quite an accumulation 
in the seam. I'm seeing tiny metallic flakes. And I mean tiny. Where's my pick? Tiny, tiny, tiny. I mean, there's a whole bunch on here, but very, very small. I'm going to grab a magnet to see if they're magnetic or if it's aluminum. Okay, so right there. It's not picking them up. So those little flakes are not pieces of not pieces of bearing or anything like that. I'm thinking it's aluminum burrs, but it's picking up some. Not many though. Where's it? Where's the magnet? There. Is that teeny tiny very little and in the bottom of the uh, of the main pan when I changed this filter there was nothing absolutely nothing other than um, this really fine where's my really really fine mud metal mud type stuff that, that you uh, that you see on the magnets in the pan so yeah 130,000 kilometers really hardly anything in the filter media so I'm not going to stress so much about filter changes as I am about fluid changes from now going forward I hope you found that interesting and uh, maybe next time you're taking a Saturday morning off uh, away from family and friends to spend a couple of hours cursing at your transmission as you change the filter and change the oil, maybe uh, dissect your filter and see if it was even worth your while. because you are going to be able to tell a lot more about the condition and performance of your transmission from what is it caught in the media versus what is found in the bottom of the pan.